and today we're doing a versus video a comparison between the brand new samsung galaxy note 10 plus and they're really old now <laughs> four month fold samsung s10 plus two incredible phones but because over the last few years the two lines have got closer and closer together a lot of you guys will want to know which one is the best in certain aspects and of course hopefully this video will decide which one is better for you the samsung galaxy note 10 plus is finally official and what everybody's wondering is, how does it compare to the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus? And is the Note 10 Plus just an S10 Plus with an S Pen? Well, let's break down all of the key differences, super SaaS style, and find out. So initially looking at the build and design, of course we do have Samsung's usual design language. We've got a metal frame with curved glass panels on the front and back. Now the S10 Plus is available in a couple of ceramic versions as well on the Note 10 Plus. We just have the glass and both devices are also IP68 water and dust resistant. Now we do have some key design differences. The Note 10 Plus, the camera arrangement at the back is towards the left-hand side and it's vertical. On the S10 Plus, it is horizontal and it's in the middle. And the same goes for the front camera alignment. On the Note 10 Plus, we have a punch out in the middle. On the S10 Plus, this is on the right-hand side and it's a dual punch out, not a single punch out. Now, honestly speaking, both of these are very, very premium and they both look very good as well. However, the Note 10 Plus is a larger device and it's also got more squared off edges compared to the more curved edges on the S10 Plus. And for those reasons, the S10 Plus is definitely more comfortable to hold compared to the Note 10 Plus. But the Note 10 Plus is larger because it has a larger display, a 6.8 inch display versus the 6.4 inch display on the S10 Plus. Now both displays are dynamic AMOLED displays. They both are HDR10 Plus certified and they both have a Quad HD Plus resolution. So they're sharp, they're vibrant, and both of these look very, very good. The S10 Plus does have a slightly higher pixel density because you've got uh, the same amount of pixels in a slightly smaller display, but this really isn't gonna be much of an issue. One thing that you may prefer is the single punch out on the Note 10 Plus which is in the middle compared to the dual cutouts for the S10 Plus. But the S10 Plus is kind of out the way, it's tucked out the way, whereas the Note 10 Plus is directly in the middle. Now, this is definitely gonna come down to personal preference, which one you prefer, let me know in the comments below. Now, internally, both devices, in the US at least, are powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 chipset. We've not got the 855 Plus on the Note 10 Plus, but in other regions, if you have the Exynos version, then on the S10 Plus, you have the Exynos 9820. On the Note 10 Plus, you're gonna have the improved 9825. Now, this is a seven nanometer chipset. Compared to the eight nanometer chipset on the 9820, this is something that I have talked about before, the 855 versus the 9820. But now that we have the 9825 on the Note 10 Plus, that is gonna give you an improvement if you are in regions that has the Exynos version. Otherwise, the base chipset is gonna be similar for you. But there are a couple of advantages that the Note 10 Plus has. Firstly, it does have the world's slimmest vapor chamber. So this is gonna help with cooling. So if you are somebody who games a lot, then this is gonna be a benefit on the Note 10 Plus. And it's also got UFS 3.0 storage. So you are gonna be getting faster read and write speeds on the storage. Now in terms of storage options, you do get a base of 128 gigabytes on the S10 Plus. On the Note 10 Plus, you do get a base of 256 gigabytes. Now both devices are also available in 512 versions, but the S10 Plus, if you go for the ceramic version, you can get up to one terabyte. Now this version also has 12 gigabytes of RAM, whereas you get eight gigabytes as a base. On the Note 10 Plus, you do get 12 gigabytes of RAM across the board. And both devices also have a micro SD card slot, so you can expand that storage even further. This is something that Samsung has not included on the regular Note 10, but the Note 10 Plus does have expandable memory. So that's definitely an advantage. Personally for me, 256 gigabytes on a phone is enough, but if you are somebody who shoots lots of video uh, or has lots on your smartphone, then the micro SD card slot can be quite useful. Now let's talk about the cameras. So for the base cameras, they are very similar on both. So we have a primary camera, 12 megapixels with a variable aperture. We have an ultra wide camera. This is 16 megapixels with an f2.2 aperture. The ultra wide camera on the S10 Plus is currently my favorite from any of the smartphone that I've tested. And then we have the telephoto camera, which is gonna give two times optical zoom. There is one difference between the telephoto cameras, however, and that is that you've got a slightly wider aperture on the Note 10 Plus f2.1 versus f2.4. So this is gonna give you 
better low light shots when you're using the telephoto camera. Not only that, the Note 10 Plus also has a depth vision camera. So this is gonna measure depth information, so it should help you with your portrait shots. And you also have live focus video now on the Note 10 Plus. So this is the portrait mode, blurry background in video, which is definitely quite interesting. Now, obviously you wanna test these out more. So if you wanna see a super SAS style camera comparison of the Note 10 Plus versus another device, then let me know in the comments below which one you'd like to see. There are further improvements on the Note 10 Plus when it comes to video as well. So you've got zoom in mic, which if you are zoomed in to something, it's gonna to try to isolate that sound more. And you've also got improvements in the super steady video. So the S10 Plus introduced super steady video. It's a 1080p, but it gives you almost action camera like stabilization, it works really, really well. You've got this on the Note 10 Plus, but they've increased the sampling rate, so you should be getting better stabilization. And you can also use this now in the hyperlapse feature. And when it comes to the front-facing cameras, things are quite interesting because you've got 10 megapixels on both, but the S10 Plus does have a wider aperture, an f1.9 aperture, whereas you've got f2.2 on the Note 10 Plus. Now, is this gonna affect low light selfies? Uh, we're gonna have to wait and see. Uh, why is it not wider on the Note 10 Plus? I'm assuming maybe the cutout, they had to make it a little bit smaller so they couldn't use too much of a wide aperture, I don't know. But the S10 Plus also has that secondary depth camera. So this works really, really well when it comes to your portrait selfies. Uh, the S10 Plus, probably one of my favorites when it comes to edge detection. It does a really, really good job, gives you a natural uh, background blur. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see if the Note 10 Plus can replicate this with that single front-facing camera. You do get live focus video from the front-facing camera as well on the Note 10 Plus. This is something that you don't get on the S10 Plus, even though it does have that secondary depth sensor. So it'll be interesting to see. Both devices can film 4K from the front-facing cameras as well, which is definitely quite good for vlogging. Now for security, both devices do have an ultrasonic in-display fingerprint scanner, which does work really well. And for audio, things are quite interesting. Both devices do have stereo speakers. So you've got one in the earpiece and one bottom firing. But the S10 Plus, has a 3.5 mm jack, the Note 10 Plus does not. So this is gonna be disappointing, I'm sure for a lot of people out there, Samsung is finally saying goodbye to the 3.5 mm jack. Now, the reasoning they gave for this is to allow for some more space within the device. Firstly, for the S Pen, of course, which we'll be talking about a little bit later, as well as giving a bigger battery. So you do have a bigger battery on the Note 10 Plus, you've got 4,300 mAh versus 4,100 mAh on the S10 Plus, and you also have faster charging on the Note 10 Plus. You've got 25 watt fast charging that comes out of the box, so that's already gonna be faster compared to the S10 Plus. It's gonna give you uh, roughly about a full 100% charge uh, within one hour, but the Note 10 Plus also does support 45 watt fast charging. Now this 45 watt charger will have to be bought separately, but if you do get that, that's gonna give you roughly zero to 70% in just 30 minutes. So that's definitely a big advantage here. You've also got faster wireless charging on the Note 10 Plus, up to 15 watts, and you do have wireless power share on both devices. So when it does come to battery, of course, battery life, we're gonna have to see. There's also more optimizations that have been made on the Note 10 Plus, but you do get that bigger battery with those faster charging capabilities. Now, there's a couple of additional things on the Note 10 Plus. Uh, firstly, there is no dedicated Bixby button. So there is a power button that's gonna double up as a Bixby button if you press down and hold it. But unlike the S10 Plus, where there is one dedicated there and you can accidentally press, etc., cetera, uh, this is no longer the case. I know some of you guys are gonna be happy for that. And the Note 10 Plus also comes with a 5G variant, which is the same device, essentially, but with 5G, the S10 Plus doesn't actually have a 5G variant as in the S10 Plus itself, that's in 5G. There is an S10 5G edition, but that's definitely quite a different device. Now let's talk about what makes the Note 10 Plus unique, and that is of course the S Pen. So as well as some of the features that you may already be used to, such as screen off memo, where you can just uh, take out the pen and on the always on display, just make a quick note, uh, you are now getting some advanced features. So you do have improved algorithms to convert your handwriting to actual text, so you can even search within your handwritten notes uh, because it's gonna be able to recognize that. I definitely wanna be testing that out a little bit more. But then you have air actions. Now these are gestures that you can use wirelessly uh, at a distance from your phone. So the Note 9 initially introduced uh, using the S Pen remotely so you could use it to take pictures by pressing the button. But now you have further actions. So for instance, if you wanna change modes uh, from a distance, you can just like 
press the button and swipe like this. It's gonna change between video, photo, uh, live focus video, whatever it is. And if you go from up and down, it's gonna flip the camera. Uh, so from selfie to refacing. And then you can wave the S Pen around like this and it's gonna zoom in. And if you go anti-clockwise, it's gonna zoom out. So honestly speaking, I don't know how much I'm gonna be using it. I know it is quite useful. If you do wanna set up a shot or something, you can just put it there and you, know, you don't have to use a timer or anything. You just press the button. But some of these other gestures, I'm not sure how useful they'll actually be. Now, when it comes to the software, you do have Android Pie with one UI on top. Now, I definitely am a fan of one UI. It's uh, very, very clean and smooth and I've really liked it on the S10 Plus but the Note 10 Plus does come with some improvements. So you do have some new features. You've got a screen recorder, which uh, is built in now, so you can record your screen, but you can also use the front-facing camera to maybe like commentate. So if you're maybe doing some gaming and you kind of want to record your reactions as well, you can do that now on the Note 10 Plus. You now also have Dex for PC. So you're going to be able to connect your Note 10 Plus to your PC and then you're gonna be able to drag and drop files uh, between your phone and your desktop. And you're gonna be able to do things like edit video on your phone. They will be having Adobe Rush optimized for Galaxy. So you're gonna be having some of these advanced features. And there's also a link to Windows. So this is a wireless link between uh, your Windows machine as well as the Galaxy Note 10. So if you get text messages, they're gonna come straight up. Uh, it's gonna have access to uh, your recent photos and things like that. And you're also gonna be able to wirelessly stream games uh, from your PC on to your Note 10 Plus. Now, these are a lot of features that I definitely want to test out. Uh, I want to spend some more time with, but uh, Samsung has tried to give some more advanced features for a more sort of pro user, shall we say. Now, finally, let's look at the price. So the S10 Plus, when it was released, it did start at $1,000. The Note 10 Plus is gonna start at $100 more. So $1,100 is gonna be the starting price. Now, if we compare this, these are the launch prices, bear in mind, then the Note 10 Plus, in my opinion, seems definitely worth it. You're getting a larger display, you're getting the battery improvements, you're getting more storage, UFS 3.0, the improvements in the cameras. But the S10 Plus now has dropped Quite a bit in price depending on where you go. Uh, I've seen it for around $800 in a lot of places, some places even less. So if you are in the market currently for a new phone, then you'll probably be getting a really good deal on the S10 Plus, which is a very, very good device. It's been one of my favorite devices of the year so far.